to happy sunday sabi mo sa kanya mas maganda ka pa sa umaga welcome to the goodness of god series for this month of march we started on the first sunday of uh, march we declared that god is good tell the person next to you god is good and all the time amen god is good on on the first sunday uh, we talked about his goodness no uh, manifesting he no as our healer not only physically but emotionally and also mentally and uh, psychologically and spiritually he is our healer on second sunday we talked about uh, his goodness manifesting uh, about the uh, unlimited powers of God, right? Last week, we talked about He being faithful to us. He, uh, he taught us how to give. He taught us to be uh, how to be contented. And now we will close it out, no, with uh, the good son. No, bakit bakit the good son? Hindi yung teleserye na pinapanood niyo dati na patayan ng patayan. Mamaya papaliwanag ko sa inyo bakit the good son. Pastor, bakit the good son? We 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 heard about the prodigal son. Right? Because I was wondering before uh, when I was a new Christian, this was the first parable that I I read. And in fact, my first ever preaching was about the prodigal son, first ever in the mid-1990s. And uh, all my life, growing up, I thought that this is a story of the prodigal son, the bad son. But reading it all over and all over again, I noticed, I observed, that there are many perspectives in this story. The perspective of the bad son, the perspective of the loving father, and the perspective of the older son, which is we thought that he is the good son. Let's uh, try to uh, uh, understand you know, what are the things that uh, we should reflect on. We divided into uh, eight scenarios the story of the prodigal son. And each scenario, we will try to learn you know, what are the uh, possible, na pwede kong pagbulay-bulayan sa storya na to. No? As we soak deeper no, sa Word of God, let's look at these eight scenarios. Let's start. I have here the NIV version. What was read a while ago was the CSB version. I usually go for CSB, but uh, uh, for this one, I think NIV gave a better description. So for this Sunday, allow me to use the uh, New International Version. No? It says, the parable of the lost son. Lost Son, I thought he was a prodigal. Yes, he was lost, he was a prodigal, he was the bad son. Call him whatever you want. But later on, we will realize that he is really the good son. Ha! Paano nangyari yun? Let's look at the story again. Jesus continued. Jesus is speaking here. He's trying to... Uh, uh, one good thing about Jesus, no? Jesus is a storyteller. And people love stories. You agree with that? I, I, growing up, every Friday, I shared this last Friday in my life group, that growing up, every Friday, we had this life group. Life group session. No? Growing up in Quezon City, in Murphy, we had this life group session starting from 5 o'clock in the afternoon after work. There were many men who will come into our house. Yun lang, medala silang gitara at saka beer. Yun yung life group session. At maraming pulutan. No? From 6 o'clock in the evening, they would start singing. 
they will start drinking. They will, they, uh, that is the most uh, awaited part no, for me. The storytelling. Alam niyo yung kwentong lasing? Yung walang kakwenta-kwenta at walang katapusan. No? It, 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 it only showed that we are really hardwired for fellowship. Because people love fellowship, right? Kaya nga right after service, we make sure that we have a fellowship in courtyard, no? Para, you know, lalo na pandemic ngayon. Basta may social distancing lang. Now, going back, no, during my experience ko when I was a child, uh, the, the best part, no, na paborito ko, when they are starting to uh, make kwentong barbero. No? Example. <clears throat> Alam mo ba, pare? Na may nakawan dyan sa kanto. No? Ngayon, mabuti na lang, nandun yung gwardya at saka yung aso. Eh, nung pagdating ng magnanakaw, hinabol agad ng gwardya, hindi ng aso. Pagkatapos, ng pagkahabol na pagkahabol, pinagkakagat niya ng aso, hindi ng gwardya. Ngayon, nung dumating yung polis, ikinuwento ngayon ng gwardya, hindi ng aso. I- 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 meron magtatanong, meron sasagot. Tapos tawa sila ng tawa and it goes on and on and on and on until 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning. So, that was fun for me when I was a kid. No, I, I learned a lot of uh, songs. Yung Hatching ng Hatching, si Tandang Gusting. Th- those were songs that I learned during my childhood years. No, Abang nagigitara sila. So, I love stories. I realized I love stories. I love to hear stories. That's why when I got born again and I, I, I was called into ministry, I made sure to tell stories about Jesus. Because I learned from Jesus. I used to learn from the Lasengos. But now I learned from Jesus. He loves storytelling. No? Because he wants ito yung connecting event niya. He wants to connect to people. And people are all ears when they hear about stories, right? How many times we heard about the story of the prodigal son? And in, yet it's timeless. Lagi pa rin tayong nakikinig. Kasi alam niyo, ito yung nakakatuwa. Every time you hear the story of the prodigal son, there's always a new message for you. <laughs> right? E parehas lang naman yung binasa natin. Again, Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. All we thought, the good son and the bad son. The older one is the good and the younger one is the bad son. The younger, the younger one said to his father, Tay, ibigay mo na sa akin yung share ko. Give me my share of the estate. When, this is not about real estate. This, when, we say, when we say estate, these are the things that you own. Uh, wedding properties, wedding finances, financial statements of banks, everything that you own. And we talk about estate, usually this word is being used kapag patay na yung tao. But this guy, the father, is still living. In fact, if he's still in command, the, being the patriarch of his family, ibig sabihin, malakas pa to. Hindi to yung bedridden na father. Alright? So, look at the, the, the beautiful reaction of the father. Walang tanong-tanong. Alright? I'm sure arrogant ito. Baguhin natin yung tono. Tay, pagayin mo na sa akin yung share ko. Lahat Nung kalahate. Kasi dalawa lang naman kami magkapatid eh. Teka, teka. Why are you asking for your share? Buhay pa yung tatay mo eh. Technically, he owns everything. You have nothing. Right? But, legally, morally, when he died, according to the law, no, hahatiin yan. Uh, pantay, 50-50. But kung nabubuhay pa yung nanay, uh, 50% sa kanya, 25-25 kayo magkapatid. Right? That is according to the law. So, he, probably he's, he's assuming it from the perspective of the law. Na total, eh, eventually, kukunin ka naman ni Lord, eh, bigay mo na sa akin. Pero imbis na mapikon, in, instead of being pikon, itong tatay, look at his beautiful reaction. 
So he divided his property between them. Loving, right? So understanding, very kind. The very uh, picture of our beautiful Lord. Amen. Let's talk about the rebel. Scenario number one. Perspective number one. We're talking about the rebel. Who's the rebel? Of course, the younger son. What we, uh, we, we call him the, the bad son, the prodigal son, the lost son. The problem with generation today, generation today are self-entitled. Oh, seriously. But here's the thing. I heard this also during the 70s. When I was growing up, the generation before me, they would always tell us, the problem with the generation, you, know, you are all self-entitled, uh, self you are uh, very uh, conceited, you're very self uh, selfish. And then, the, the, so, uh, when, when I grew up, you no. Know, and uh, my contemporaries are, you know, they have started, they started to have kids. Nakaroon na mga apo. And then I always hear this. The problem with you, millennials, you are all self-entitled. Here's the thing. It depends. Every generation is self-entitled. Kasi according from the word, di ba? Anong sabi? On the last days, men will be lovers of themselves. So it's not about the generation of the baby boomers. It's not about the Gen X. It's not about the Gen Z, millennial, whoever. It's about to happen. Because in the last days, people, men, will be lovers of themselves. No? There was a time, during our time, during your time probably in the 50s and the 60s, some of you in the 70s, 80s, 90s, there was a time that, Mom, I want this. Dad, I want this. Right? Bil mo ko nun, bil mo ko nyan, ha? Ano yun? Si Fred Panofio. It's about me, 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 and most especially, me. That's the very attitude of the bad son. I don't care about my older brother. I don't care about your dad. It's all about me, me, me. It's all about my selfishness versus the good son's servanthood. Because the good son, a.k.a. the older son, remained, stayed faithful, remained by the side, no? sa tabi ng kanyang tatay. No? Merong, merong disparity. It's a picture of rebellion. No? This Bad son, this prodigal son, this lost son is a picture of rebellion against God. Actually, he is a picture of you and me. Once in our life, no, we rebelled against God. We go against his authority. Once in our life, we rebelled against our parents. We go against their authorities, right? We try to disconnect from the power source. The problem is, when you have a phone, no, enable for it to stay as a phone, you have to connect it into a power source, right? So, meron kang uh, connector. So, you, you remain there so that the, the power will be continuous. Here's the problem. The bad son thought that he can do it on his own. So, sabi niya, Tay, bigyan mo ako ng power bank. So, dala, dala niya yung power bank and then he went to wherever he went. And he thought, wadi mauubos yung power sa power bank. And since hindi ka na nakatap sa power source, good luck. It's the same thing with us. In verse 13, not long after that, the younger son got together all he had. No, matapos ang ilang panahon, kinuha niya lahat ko ano meron siya, set off for a distant country. Ito na, bimiyahin na. He made sure na malayo siya sa tatay niya at sa kapatid niya. Bakit? Kasi ayokong pakikilaman niyo ako. Right? I'm about to enjoy this beautiful journey. No, lavishing. Makapag-relax-relax. Set off 
for a distant country. Isn't it the same thing? When we rebel against God, this is our first reaction. We set off to a distant place. When you did something that is wrong, you go to a distant place and I don't want to talk about church. I don't want to hear about church. Uy, tumatawag si pastor. I don't want to hear about my pastor. Uy, nagtitext yung taga church. Ay, I want to go to a distant place so nobody can bother me and nobody can see what I am doing because I know deep inside my heart what I'm doing is not pleasing in the sight of God. Right? He made sure na nagpakalayo-layo siya in a distant country and there squandered his wealth in wild living. Inubos niya talaga lahat yung power bank niya. Itong masaklap na katotohanan sa mundong ito, kahit gaano karami ang pera mo, I tell you the truth, kung puro labas yan, walang pumapasok, mauubos yan. Amen? Kaya, wag mong pangarapi manalo sa loto. <laughs> Dahil pag hindi mo naman alam kung paano hawakan ng pera, ikakasira pa yan ang buhay mo. I challenge you, Punta kayo sa YouTube, go to YouTube, search nyo, Lotto Winners. And uh, you, 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 there, there, there were uh, TV programs about Lotto Winners. No? Eight out of ten, probably, ng Lotto Winners, nasira ang buhay. Right? Napatay, nanakawan, nasira yung marriage, everything. Bakit? Kasi, in a, Sabi ng Biblia, for where your treasure is, there is your heart also. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine. Yun lang. Nung naubos na lahat, then there came a severe famine. Same thing with our spiritual life. We became a rebel, and then we set off to a distant place na make sure na walang lalapit sa'yo dahil may ginagawa kang alam mong ikaw lang nakakaintindi. And then after that, you experience the severe famine. Extreme hunger. No? I'm sure you experienced this. Na you were sinning against God, and there, there's this severe famine in spirituality. You want to go back to God, but you don't know how. No? And there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. Same thing with us spiritually. We began to be in need. Hindi natin alam saan tayo pupunta. We talked about the scenario of him being a rebel and now, nakipag-social distancing. Nakipag-social <laughs> distancing from God. Okay lang sana kung sa, sa ano eh, sa COVID-19 eh. Pero ito, he made sure meron siyang social, social distancing from God. There he squandered his wealth in wild living. You see, distance from the Lord equals, don't you bother me, Lord. Don't you dare bother me, Daddy. Don't you dare bother me, older brother. It's all about satisfying all your wants. You go to pornography, you go to adultery, you go to uh, uh, thieving, you go to drunkenness, you go to uh, 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 drug addiction. Satisfying all your wants. You keep on lying and lying and lying. Everything leads to distraction. The Bible is faithful, telling us every time we encounter the word, everything leads to distraction if you no, decided to be out sa presence ng Panginoon. Now, the scenario for rebel, no, ayoko na sa'yo, Lord. Ayoko na sa'yo, Daddy. Give me the share. Social distancing tayo, and the, then there's, then ito yung nangyari, the down-the-drain experience. You see, you need to be thankful for a down-the-drain experience. Yung experience na you're so low, wala ka nang pupuntahan, sagad na, sagad na. You should be thankful for that. No, mahirap, pero dapat tayong magpasalamat. You see, scenes, Ibig sabihin, laging merong equivalent na consequences. 
even pinatawad tayo ng Panginoon, may consequences. No? This guy experienced lowest of the lowest. Paano? No? The problem is, when you experience lowest of the lowest scenario, no? ito yung reaction ng mundo. It's either you surrender or you die. It's either, now, when I say you surrender, you surrender to God, or for, in that case, for that, for that uh, uh, bad son, he surrendered himself no, sa kanyang tatay, bumalik siya. Or he dies of hunger. Sa mundo na to, ayaw bumalik sa Diyos, and then people decided to kill themselves, suicide, no? so much depression, and then eventually self-destruction. We look at the scenario of the revel, social distancing siya, down the drain experience, and now he came to an awakening. This, this is a good part of the story. There's an awakening. In verse 17, when he came to his senses, sabi mo sa katabi mo, ayun, nahimasmasan. <laughs> Di ba? Nahimasmasan din. Tayo ba, dumating ba tayo sa pagkakataon na nahimasmasan na tayo? Na, Di ako na Lord. Pagod na ako sa buhay na to. Gusto ko ng tahimik na buhay. Masaya. No? Sabi niya, nahimasmasan siya, teka, teka. Ilan ba sa mga servants ng tatay ko na hindi lang basta kumakain, meron pang spare? Di ba? Sabi niya, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? No? And here I am, starving to death. In spirituality, nung lumayo ka sa Panginoon, na-realize mo, sa Facebook, kung saya-saya nila sa church, oh. busog na busog. Hindi lang yung sa ano ha, yung patla ka. Busog na busog sila sa salita ng Diyos. Tuwing nakikita ko sila kung magnitian ang abot ng gantenga. Mukhang ang saya-saya. Hindi mabibili ng pera yung saya sa puso. Puti pa sila o. Oh. Gutom na ako ha. Gusto ko rin pumunta sa simbahan. Gusto kong bumalik sa tatay ko. Right? I'm starving to death. Sabi niya, gutom na ako. Ganun din tayo eh. We're starving to death. We want to go back to God. We, but we don't know how. But good thing, good news, kapag pumunta ka doon sa stage, no, na ikaw ay nahimasmasan, you came to your senses, good news yun. First step. 50% of your problem solved. Right? I will set out and go back to my father. Basta decided na ako. Babalik ako sa tatay ko, sabi ng bata. No? And I and and I will say to him, eto nakakatuwa, nagpractice pa. Di ba? Ako na experience ko 'to eh. How many times I experienced apostasy in my life? How many times I experienced Lord, sorry, and then pinatawad ako, happy ulit, and then gawa na naman ng kasalanan. Lord, sorry, pinatawad ako, happy ulit, gawa na naman kasalanan. Paulit-ulit lang. Di ba? Sa sobrang hiya ako, dahil I was being persecuted by the devil, kapal naman ang mukha mo, babalik ka na naman, so gagawin mo na naman ulit. Diba? At mas mahirap, nung nag, nung nag, when I accepted the call in ministry, ang kapal ng mukha mo, magpapastor ka pa ngayon, ha? Antibay mo! Those were the persecution of the enemy. Right? Uh, ginawa ko, nag-practice din ako, Lord, sabihin ko, pag ako nag, nag-pray, Lord, I've seen against you. I've seen against heaven and against you. So, nag-practice yung bata. No? The bad son practice is prayer. Oh, no, no, not prayer, but uh, reconciliation uh, speech. Sabi niya, sabihin ko sa tatay ko, Father, I have seen against heaven and, and against you. In fact, I am no longer worthy. Narinig niyo na ba ito sarili niyo? Lord, I am no longer worthy. Naiyaman ako, pero, Right? I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Anong ina-applyan niya? Make me like one of your hired servants. Hindi na siya nag assume na bumalik sa posisyon niya na bilang anak. Just make me a hired servant. Kasi at least yung servant natin eh, sarap nung kinakain eh. No? So he got up and went to his father. He came to a point of realization. 
You see, nagkaroon siya ng analytical comparison. No? Parang tayo, when we experience no, starving, starvation, it's a physical need. Ano nyo, mahirap, mahirap kalabani ng kalam ng sikmura. Kaya nagkatrabaho ang tao dahil may physical need. Kailangan niyang kumain. In fact, lagi natin naririnig kapag kumalaman sikmura ng tao, natututong pumatay at magnakaw. Right? So, same thing. Kapag ka, dumaan ka sa, sa, sa senaryo ng buhay mo na you are starving, anything masarap na. Dati na ako makain ng paksiw na isda eh. Pero we experienced a storm in the Philippines for almost 24 hours, di pa ako makain. And then yung kapitbahay namin naghain. Ang bango. Problema, paksiw. Eh, hindi ako makain nun. Pero alam nyo, since I was starving, that was the best meal I ever had in my life. Kasi gutom na ako. Right? Same thing with you guys. Kapag gutom ka na, you'll do anything para ikaw ay makakain. Itong bata na to, di bali na nakakaya. Di bali na maging servant ako ulit. Di ba? Titiklop ka talaga. Pero hindi lang siya gutom physically. Tayo hindi lang tayo gutom physically, but also emotionally, mentally, psychologically, and above all, spiritually. Meron tayong hunger sa Panginoon. No, sabi niya, ayoko na maging victim. I don't want to be a victim anymore. Instead, I want to live a victor, victorious life. I don't want to be a victim, but a victor. Kami yung katabi mo, mukha ba siyang victim o mukha siyang victor? Right? So sabi natin, rebelde, social distancing kay Lord, na-experience niya, down the drain experience, isipin niya, sarap ng tingin niya sa pagkain ng mga baboy. Di ba? Awakening. Teka lang. Ma, servant namin, sarap na kinakain. May spare pa eh. Then after the awakening, the scenario, this is my favorite part, the loving arms. No? of the Heavenly Father. Sometimes we don't look at the perspective of the Heavenly Father when we talk about the story of the prodigal son. We always identify ourselves, oh, ganyan din ako eh, prodigal din ako eh. Pero, why not look at the perspective of the loving Father who's so merciful? But while He was still a long way off, sandali, ano yung ibig sabihin ng while He was still a long way off? Ibig sabihin, Malayo pa lang. His father saw him. Teka, nagkataon lang ba? Nung nandun yung tatay? Okay, look at the scenario. Yung parable ni Jesus, it's about a person who owns an estate. Malaking farm probably, meron siyang field, right? Mayaman siya. Ibig sabihin, every after work, every afternoon, nakatanghod siya doon sa kanyang gate at inaabangan yung anak niya. Kaya malayo pa lang, nakita niya na. You see, sabi ng salita ng Diyos, sinner ka pa lang, while you were yet sinner, no? Christ gave already His life for you. Malayo ka pa lang, nandun ka pa sa kasalanan, nandun ka pa sa pagpapakasarap, Nakatingin na sa iyo Diyos, hoping na bumalik ka. Amen? His father saw him and he was filled with compassion. Hindi nang ibabaw yung inis, yung galit. Instead, compassion. Compassion for his son. Ano sabi? Nakita niya malayo, filled with compassion. Anong reaction? He ran to his son. Hindi niya hinintay. Hindi katulad niyo, nakapagkaginagabi ang anak niya, nakapagkaginagabi na kayo. Sabi ko na eh, nandiyan na eh. Narinig ko na yung kotse, nandiyan na eh. Di ba? No, he ran to his son. He threw his arms around him and kissed him. Naalala ko yung nanay ko. If there's one person na pinakamabait na kilala ko sa buong mundo, nanay ko. Happy birthday, man. Ano na dyan yun? Bakit? Kasi ito yung magkakasala kami magkapatid. Dalawa na kami magkapatid eh. 
hindi ko narinig sa kanya na sisihin niya kami. Lagi niya sinasabi sa amin, ba may ginawa kami mali, titignan niya lang kami. Ang lagi ng tanong sa amin, at pambati niya sa amin, kumain ka na. <laughs> Nagkasala ka na, tinatanong ka pa kung kumain ka na. <laughs> di ba? Tapos di kikibo, sasabihin niya, huwag mo nalang ulitin niya na. Kaya okay, kumain ka na dyan. No? I can sense the love of God. Earthly mother pa lang yun. Now, let's talk about my father. Hindi, wag na. <laughs> Kasi yung tatay ko, oh, sabi ko na nga ba eh. Diba? Ayan, napala mo. Ano? Diba? Basta pa. <laughs> diba? He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. Walang palipaliwanag. Walang sisisisi. Pagka niyakap ka, ibig sabihin nun, patawad na yun. Homecoming na. Diba? Pasok ka na ulit. Walang explanation. Importante, nandito ka. Ang Diyos, hindi naghihintay na explanation mo. Importante, nandito ka. Importante, decision mo, lumapit sa Kanya at bumalik sa Kanya. You see, this father is patiently waiting for his son. Daily. Same thing with our God. He's patiently waiting for all the people of this earth no, to turn their backs no, doon sa kanilang mga wicked scenes and accept Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. This Father is filled with love and gladness. Hindi paninisi, hindi pangungot siya, hindi pangaasar. Say, nabi ko na nga, bay, babalik ka rin eh. Ano, bus na. Hindi siya ganun. Itong tatay na to, parang yung Diyos natin na, I'm so glad to see you again. Miss na miss na kita. No questions asked. What I love here, dito sa Amerika, pag nagsoli ka, no questions asked. Diba? Bumili ka ng gown, ginamit mo sa party, kinabukasan sa soli mo, no questions asked. Sa Pilipinas, tatanungin ka pa, bakit amoy pa bango? Sinuot mo na to, diba? No return, no exchange, sir. Ay, masama yung sir, nakagown na, no? Anyway. <laughs> no questions asked. Ito, ito yung klase ng Diyos na meron tayo. No questions asked. Hindi nagsabi, oh, sige, pumunta ka muna sa pare. May ka ng tawad. Right? Ten Hail Mary. Ten Ama namin. Then, pag-isipan ko, oh, patatawarin kita. Hindi, no, 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 no. No questions asked. Come to me. All of you who are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Amen? The rebel, nag-social distancing, distancing sa Lord. Ayoko na sa'yo. Gusto ko magrebelde. Sarap ng buhay na ito eh. Down the drain experience. Gusto nang kumain ng pagkain ng baboy. Diba? Nagkaroon ng awakening na yung masmasan. Ito na. Loving arms of the Father. Bumalik siya. And then there was restoration. In verse 21, the son said to him, ito na yung pinractice niya. Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. In fact, may kasunod yan. Ano na kasunod? Pwede niyo ba akong gawing hard serve? Hindi, hindi niya na natapos. Hindi niya na natapos. Why? Because restoration is more important than your explanation. Amen? Ano kasunod, di ba? He's not yet finished speaking. No, he was interrupted by his father. Ikaw, habang humingi ka ng tawad sa Diyos, hindi ka patapos. Before you utter your lips, nag- maingay na yung angel sa langit. Eto na, may naborn na ganda naman. Right? May bumalik na naman sa Diyos. Praise and worship na sa heaven. Di ba? Tingnan natin yung sumunod na verse. But the father said to his servants, no, from yung sinari na, Father, I have sinned against you. Uh, tapos sasabihin niya pa sana, gusto ko sana, ma- kasi kasama yun sa practice niya, di ba? Hindi na natapos. Sabi din sa verse 22 agad, but the father said to his servants, quick, quick, uh, mali, 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 mali. Kasi ano to eh, mayaman to eh, ibig sabihin na, gusto niyo, bring the best robe, Armani, Versace, labas. Di ba? Put it on him. And, sa kostumbre ng kahit sinong kultura, hindi nagbibiyas ang hindi naliligo. 
Kasi mabaho ito eh, nag-aalaga ng baboy dati. Di ba? Madumi to. Wala na itong damit, punit-punit na siguro. Gutom, payat na payat. Pero hindi nalintana ng tatay, niyakap kahit mabaho. Napansin niya siguro mabaho. Paliguan nga ito, bihisan. Madali, madali, madali. Di ba? Ito pa isa. Put a ring on his finger. Hindi lang basta bihisan, hindi lang basta paliguan, bigyan ng singsing sa kanyang daliri. Ano ibig sabihin nito? You see, during those times, ang tawag doon, hindi wedding ring. Hindi basta ring. It's a signet ring. Ang signet ring ay being used by the landowners, by the rich, by the famous. The word signature came from signet ring. Kasi instead of signing your name, ang signet ring ay binaba... Ay, ring yun, di ba? Meron siyang uh, naka, naka, nakakurba, yung uh, nakahubog, no? Yung, yung inyong family crescent o yung family, uh, uh, ano nyo, uh, parang uh, emblem. Pagkatapos, inilulubog yun sa, sa uh, may, uh, yung tinunaw na kandila, di ba? Tapos, yun yung pinantatatak doon sa mga papeles. Kasi kapag meron nun, ibig sabihin, you can buy lands, you can buy slaves, you can do anything. Transaction yun. Ibig sabihin, may ibinabalik sa kanya. Right? Hindi lang ako binihisan, hindi lang ako pinaliguan, meron pang ibinalik. And that is authority. Teka, nandito lang naman ako para makikain eh. ba? Diba? Tsaka at least yung servants namin, kumakain. Gusto ko rin kumain. Pero hindi, binibigyan ako ng power. Binibigyan ako ng authority ng tatay ko. No, he put a, a ring on his finger, not only that. Bilan nga ng cold hand to, bago. Binigyan ng sandals. Okay, looking at the perspective during the old times. Not, not just the old times, even up to now. Ang mahirap, punta ka sa liblib na lugar, malalapad ang paating na nyo. Lalo na sa rural areas. Yung magsasaka, hindi kasi nagsisinelas. Pag yung katabi mo, malapad ang paa, dating mahirap yan. <laughs> Ngayon, nasa state si mama na. Di ba? Hindi kasi, bakit? Hindi na chichinelas, hindi na kukurba. Pag napansin mo, yung katabi mo, makitid ang paa, anak mayaman yan. Kasi lagi nakachinelas o lagi nakasapatos. Di ba? Pag pansin mo yung paano yung katabi mo, makinis, anak mayaman yan. Kasi, kasi, kasi pagka mahirap ka, If you were poor, automatically you don't have sandals. Hanggang ngayon naman eh, ganun yun eh. Right? But this time, sabi niya, bigyan ng sandals. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Oo, nagpalit siyon si Mayor. Let's have feast and celebrate. Kasi may rason para mag-feast, mag-piesta, at mag-celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Here's the thing. When I ask God for forgiveness, in fact, I'll be honest, I'm not really looking for salvation. I just want to be forgiven. But instead, He gave me salvation. Right? Right? But I thought, that's it. But then, after salvation, I experienced blessings after blessings after blessings after blessings. In the mid-90s, I accepted Jesus as, as my pers- a personal Lord and Savior. My first blessing is that in within six years no, in college, I ako not graduate. I was graduate ako that year. Kasi medyo nagtino ako, kasi na born again ako eh. Right? Hindi lang yun. Another blessing came. The Lord gave me a helpmate. A partner in life. When I came to their church, no, a lot of guys are praying for her. Sabi ng pastor namin, kusinada mo ba yan? Sabi ko, gusto ko sana eh. Kasa lang, naiya ako, alangan naman ako eh. Kasi madami na, kasi sa, in our church, we have this culture that if you want to uh, 
uh, ligawan yung babae, you have to go to the pastor and seriously ask for permission. Kasi the pastor is just protecting no? yung, yung mga kadalagahan. Hindi yung ligaw dito, ligaw doon. Iba kuya-kuya kunyari, pero inaabuso na pala. Right? So a lot of uh, male came to him and asked for this lady. No? Sabi niya, pag-pray muna kayo. But when I talked to him and asked him, pwede ko bang ligawan? Ye, yeah. ang bala sa iyo. Senior pastor na, ah. so ibig sabihin may green, may, may green light ako. Sabi niya, ang problema mo lang diyan, madami nagpe-pray diyan. Sabi ko, pag sala sa labat ng prayer nila, akin 'yan. Nax. <laughs> Di ba? Because blessings comes after salvation. And I got married to Mini and we and I had another blessings. We had three children. Right? And now we are experiencing a beautiful blessing and that is ministering together for God. You see, I thought it's just salvation. But blessings after blessings, I'm not talking, I'm not a prosperity preacher. If you're asking na, ay, ito na, blessings na sabihin niya, malamang sinabi niya, umamin siya, I'm sorry to say to you, hindi ako mayaman, but I tell you the truth, I learn how to be contented. And that is blessing. Amen? After salvation, sa mo sa tabi mo, my blessing. After na bumalik ka sa Panginoon, my blessing. May bonus pa. Sabi nga ni Pastor Bert, may stimulus. <laughs> Let's look at the picture of the robe. Bigyan ng Armani yan. Bigyan ng Versace yan. Diba? Gawin mo kang mayaman yan. Kasi, no, it, it is a picture of wealth. Sabi ng tatay, ah, mahirap. Dungis-dungis mo. Payat-payat mo. Dumi-dumi mo. Hindi ka mahirap. Mayaman ka. Ba't ka mayaman? Mayaman ako eh. Amen? Mukha tayong kawawa sa Diyos. Babad tayo sa kasalanan. Ba't ka nandyan? Nagihirap ka. Hindi ka dito. Mayaman ako eh. Sabi ng Panginoon, lumapit ka. Halika dito. It's a picture of wealth. You see? The ring, it's a picture of authority. Dati, yung suit-suit kong signet ring. Siguro, binigyan din siya ng signet ring kasi anak siya eh. Ang problema, naubos yung pera, sinanla. Siguro. Wala sa Bible yun. Gawa-gawa ko lang. Ay, malamang, sinanla yun. Di ba? Ay, binalik. O, bigyan ng bagong signet ring. Kasi, ako, bilang tatay, mayaman ako eh. Pag gusto kong bumili ng baka, anytime, mm, bayad. Sa panahon ngayon, binigyan ng debit card. It means authority. Right? Binigyan ng sandals. It means protection. Diba? Nagpatay ng baka. It means from salvation, tinanggap ulit, he's being prospered again. Right? Kaya, totoo yung sinabi sa Matthew 6.33. Tama ba yun? Check natin. Baka mali ako eh. <laughs> Matthew 6.33. Tiyan nyo nga. Tama, no? Oh, yeah, oh. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Tama yung diskarte ng bata. He seek first his father. And then all these things were added unto him. Tama yung diskarte ko. I seek God in the mid-90s. And everything was added unto me. Yun yung challenge ko sa lahat na nanonood ngayon, nakikinig, at sa lahat na nandito. Seek God and all the desires of your heart. Basta hindi makakasama sa iyo at makakasama sa ibang tao will be added unto you. Di ba? Fattened calf. Right? After the restoration, there was outpouring of the blessings. And then, higyan natin yung isang perspective. We look at the perspective of the bad son who became the good son, the perspective of the loving father. Now, let's look at the good son, kuno. Pero good son ba talaga to? Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. Oh, ang tatrabaho, mabait. Hindi umalis eh. Masipag. When he came near the house, 
He heard music and dancing. Ba, may piyesta ata sa amin ah. So he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Oy, halik nga dito. Ano ba nangyari dyan? Ah, your brother has come, he replied. Dumating na po yung kapatid nyo. Medyo intrimidido tong katulong nilang to eh. Ano yun? Bakit? Nanggigigil ako eh. Kasi ang daming pwedeng ibalita, isipin nyo, ang pinalita niya, and your father has killed the fat and cow sa Tagalog. Ay, dumating na po yung kapatid nyo. Nagpapakatay pa nga ng baka eh. Kayo nga eh, hindi naman kayo kahit kampi, hindi kayo binibigyan eh. Medyo intrimidido itong katulong na to eh. Nakakainis eh. Ang daming pwedeng ibalita, pwede mag-concentrate sana doon sa kasiyahan na nangyayari na dumating na, bumalik na yung anak, pero bakit ka nagbabalita? Iniinis mo yung tao eh. Na, nanggagatong ka eh. And your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. Ayun na. <laughs> Anger, envy, selfishness, greed. It, this happened to me. There was this person who I hate so much. He needed help. Sabi ng Lord, Help him. Love the unlovable. Basa-basa ka ng Bible. Patupad mo sa buhay mo. Eh di ginawa ko naman. Pero alam nyo, outward lang yun. Deep inside my heart, I don't wanna pray for that person. Kasi baka makita ko pa sa langit eh. <laughs> di ba? Selfish, no? Ganito rin to. Tanayin ko kayo, mga kapatid. Kayong nanunood sa YouTube, sa Facebook. Kayong nandito. When was the last time nag-invite ka ng kaaluluwa? Right? Dami naliligaw sa labas. Sandamakmak ang Pilipino dito sa Los Angeles. Sa totoo lang, natatakot nga ako pag pumunta sila lahat dito, hindi sila kakasya. Malamang kayo dun sa labas makikinig, lalagay tayong malaking widescreen. <laughs> Di ba? Kasi... Ang dami na nga ngailangan. Pero ano, hindi. Masaya na ako eh. Happy ako. Saya-saya ako kaya. Punta ako ng church. Sarap makinig. Comfortable yung upuan. Naka-aircon. Diba? Tapos, kain kami dun sa courtyard. Kwentuhan. Selfie-selfie kami. Then, ang saya ko. The entire week. Wala akong problema. Konti lang. May problema man. Sanong salo ng Diyos. Ang saya ng buhay kristyano. Yan ang buhay ng older brother. Kasi nandun siya sa tatay niya eh. Matalino eh. Hindi umalis doon sa power source. Right? Pero, ito ang problema niya. Selfish. Ayaw niyang ishare yung experience niya sa kapatid niya. In fact, galit siya. The older brother became angry and refused to go in. Right? How many times no, a person will call the pastor. Sana ako magsisimba, pastor, pag di ko na nakita yung kaaway ko dyan. It, it's happening. Right? Sana na, pastor. Online na lang ako. Eh, bumalik yung kinainisan ko dyan. Eh. Laki ng utang niya sa akin. Ba't bumalik-balik dito yan? Di ba? Imbis na, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> di ba? So, di ba? I mean, ano, 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 ano na naman yung response ng tatay? So his father went out and pleaded with him. Lumabas yung tatay at nakiusap. Napakahambol, di ba? Tatay na tatay, Diyos na Diyos natin. But he answered his father, Look, all these years, I've been slaving for you, ah, and never disobeyed your orders, a.k.a. Lord, lagi ako nandito ha, nagtatights ako ha. Lord, wala akong absence sa church ha. Bait ko kaya, wala akong ginagawa masama sa tao. Pagkatapos, itong kinainisan kong churchmate ko, babalik lang dito. Dali mo na lang sa imang simbahan, Lord. Right? But he answered his father, Look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed you. Never disobeyed your orders. Yet, You never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. Ayan na, kasi ginatungan nung katulong eh. Nagkumparahan na. Diba? Ah, tinignan ko nga kung magkano yung presyo ng ano eh. <laughs> Tsumbaka at saka kambing sa Pilipinas ngayon. Abay, malaki pala yung diferensya. 
Eh, maiinis ka nga naman. Di ba? Dito, kung doon kumaalis, Lord, oh. Di ba? Di ba? How many times we question na, uh, why are these people are still prospering, Lord? They are wicked people. It's, it's not their concern. Right? Lord, bakit sa kanya 55,000 ang halaga? Tay naman, baka, baka. Ako kambing, 5,000 lang yun eh. Pampapaitan lang sa akin at sa kaldereta. I challenge you this morning. Check your heart. Check the motive of your heart. Right? When you say love, no? Hindi ito particular lang to love the lovables, but also the unlovables. What is your motive? Why we are not inviting people to the church? Boom, nalaglag. Older brother. Di ba? Are we, are we the kind of Christians that we are so busy with the kingdom but doesn't know the king? The Bible is trying to rebuke us. Do not just focus on your spirituality. You see, your spirituality, no, the manifestation of the love of Jesus, that should be evangelism and discipleship to those people who are lost. In verse 30, But when the son of yours, eto na, nanumbat na, nung itong magaling mong anak, who squandered your property, inubos lahat sa mga prostitutes, at bumalik dito sa bahay, eto ka, nagpapatay ka ng fat and cult. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito nagpalitsyon baka. Nagpalitsyon ng matabang baka. Di ba? Kasi nga, prosperity. We look at the rebel who go against God, social distancing, ayoko na sa'yo, Lord, stay away from me, basta makuha kayong gusto ko, gawin kayong gusto ko, down the day experience, nagutom, bumalik sa Panginoon, nagkaroon ng awakening, realization, eto na yung loving arms ng tatay, naghihintay sa kanya, niyakap siya, nerestore siya, ibinalik lahat nung meron siya, at hindi lang yun, nagkaroon ng outpouring of blessings. Ito ang ginawa ng Panginoon doon sa older son, who we thought the good son, siya pala yung bad son. Nirealign ng Panginoon. Nagkaroon ng process of realignment. Teka, i-realign kita. Teka, you need to be justified again. Teka, you need to be regenerated again. Teka, you need to experience the adoption process ulit. Sabi niya in verse 31, My son, anak, anak naman. Sabi niya, you're always with me. Lagi ka na sa tabi ko. And everything I have is yours. Di ba? Sabi ng Panginoon sa akin, lagi ka nandito. I enjoy when you worship me. Saya-saya ko, lahat ka nandito. Lahat ng meron ako, sa'yo. Kaya wag mo na sanang questionin yung kapatid mo na nagbabalik loob sa akin. ba? But we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Alam nyo, as we end, I'd like to call on the worship team, please. In these eight scenarios, at this very present point ng buhay nyo, you can identify in one of those scenarios. Right? Ask yourself, in this present time, Am I now rebelling against God? Am I now in the process of trying to get away from God? Am I now, am I now in the scenario of trying to put a barrier between me and God so para may social distancing kami? Am I now experiencing the down-the-drain experience that I'm so hungry for God, I want to go back to Him? Is it the scenario of, is it... You're trying to be, uh, uh, you, you are now in the process of being awakened na, Teka, naihimas-masan na ako, Lord. Uh, is it the scenario of, y- y- Ngayon, iyayakap ka na, dahil humingi ka ng tawad. Now, 
nag-throw na ng arms yung Panginoon sa iyo. Nasa senaryo ka ba ngayon na nire-restore ka niya? Nasa senaryo ka ba ngayon na in spite of nangyari sa 1 to 5, 1 to 6, na experience mo ngayon yung outpouring of His blessings at na-enjoy mo siya? O nasa senaryo ka ngayon na nire-realign ka ng Panginoon at sinecheck niya ang motibo ng puso niya? Sa, sa umaga na ito, we will close out our series na The Goodness of God. Bakit? No, kasi itong storya na ito, pinatunayan lamang na napakabuti ng ating Diyos. Amen? Napakabait. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, God is good. Diba? All the time. And all the time, cliche yan, pero totoo. Right? Madami, madalas yung narinig sa simbayan, God is good! Tasagot yung tao, all the time! And all the time, God is good! Cliché na cliché, di ba? Pero totoong totoo.